What's up guys, here is Gamer here and welcome back to another Fortnite creative tutorial. So as you can see, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make destructive walls in Fortnite creative. It's really easy, really simple and I can't believe no one's made this sooner. But Nevertin made it on Twitter, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually create that in game. So basically you can see my wall here, you can see the normal wall and you can see my custom wall. Uh, basically if you shoot these walls... It destroys the entire wall but if you shoot this it's going to open different sections of the wall and you can shoot through it with different guns creating a nice little gap just like the um just like rainbow six siege uh, so as you can see that's how it is how it works how it works in game so let's show you guys how to actually create this yourselves it's really easy i'll show you the gallery that you can find the pieces in there's three different pieces and um you can use those to create the wall so let's jump into that real quick. Uh, also, before I start building, I'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials on how to do stuff in creative. So make sure to subscribe and hit that like button if this video helped you as well. So anyway, you want to place down this gallery here. It is called the Outdoor. Um, let's go into it real quick. So you want to go to galleries just there. And you are going to want to go down to the Outdoor Residential Prop Gallery. Place that down and this is what it will look like. And then you want to come to the smallest pieces here. As you can see, there's three small different designed pieces just there. Um, I use this middle one because it looks nicer. But you can use any of the pieces for different designs in your map. So you want to grab it real quick. Go on to Grid Snap 32 because it's the easiest for placing small props. Spin it round. Put it on pitch so it's sideways just like that. And as you can see, it is really small compared to mine here. So what you want to do is you want to go into it, resize it, and then resize it up to about six or seven times. It's completely up to you. Uh, my size is, I believe, on seven or eight. Um, but what I'm going to do is really twist it just so you can see uh, my size here compared to this one. So as you can see, seven, um, resize it to grid snap seven, and then you will have the same size as me you can go as big as you want but the smaller you are the better obviously too small it doesn't snap together which i will show you that right now um if you're really small as you can see when you try and place them next to each other there's gaps in between so you don't want that problem you want to make sure it's about this size so anyway let's show you guys how to place this in game so you want to um go up to the wall that you want to place it at whatever size wall it is uh, whether it's a small gap, a window, or this. You want to place them next to each other just like this. In a row. As quick as possible. And then you want to grab all these in a second on multi-select. So let's just do this real quick. Uh, you can place a couple of rolls and then copy them all if you want. But I find this to be the easiest way. Um, so let's just quickly finish this wall. And then multi-select every single one of them just like this. Pick them back up because it's going to put them in a, different, in a different place compared to the rest of your wall. And then pretty much line them all up just like this. Go up your wall uh, until your wall is done or the window is done or whatever hole you're filling is done. It is a bit glitchy but other than that it's completely fine and it looks cool. It makes your map 10 times better. So let's just uh, finish the bottom real quick. And then... There you go, the wall is done. You can obviously cover the top section with a different wall mount, whether it be, uh, let's show you guys some little tips on how to cover this gap real quick. I've seen other videos on this uh, kind of building, but they don't show you how to like make it look nice and stuff. So let's just do that real quick. So you can obviously place different um, sections of your wall just like that to kind of block the top section. Let me make that a little bit bigger. Um, just like that. There we go. And then that covers the top section. You can do whatever you want, really. Uh, you could have things down the side. You can use different wall pieces as well. Anything looks cool. Um, but if you do this every couple, or if you have this, like, in your windows, it's going to look cool. Anyway, guys, I do hope this video helped you. Make sure to hit that like button if it did. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Click that bell so you get notified when I upload in the future. And I'll see you all in the next one.